In the last three years, the New Orleans Police Department has arrested almost 3,000 juveniles. Of that, more than 2,870, or 96 percent, are African Americans. Numbers the local NAACP finds hard to believe. I was shocked. It's appalling. Uh, if that is not racial profiling, uh, um, there's no definition for racial profiling. So Morris Reed Sr., the head of the New Orleans chapter, says his group is now calling on the Department of Justice to investigate. So uh, we, we got to get this corrected, and uh, we're going to do whatever it's in our power with the NAACP to see that it's addressed. The numbers were obtained by WDSU after they were attached to a letter sent from the DA's office to every member of the city council, the sheriff, the mayor, and the head of the Metropolitan Crime Commission. The data breaks down crimes committed by juveniles over the last five years. And in 2013, 14, and 15, it breaks down arrest by race. Last year, records show 956 juveniles were arrested for crimes ranging from murder down to truancy violations. Of that 956, 18 were white, 7 were Hispanic, and 930 were black. Someone should be on the hot seat uh, in terms of the administrators of, the, uh, of our uh, criminal justice system. There's always more to the story. And NOPD Superintendent Michael Harrison says he wants to make one thing clear. His officers are not racially profiling juveniles. We won't buy into any of that, that we're targeting anybody. Our officers are responding to calls and are only stopping people based on Fourth Amendment search and seizure, where we have reasonable suspicion to believe that a crime was committed, is or is about to be committed. Harrison says when it comes to arrests made over the last three years, all are above board. And on every one of these, we have documentation that probable cause existed where a crime was committed. We're trying to create a culture where citizens won't commit crime. Certainly, we're trying to create a culture where kids won't commit crime. But Reed says the numbers tell a different story. This backs up the problems that parents are complaining about, that kids are being summarily kicked out of school and uh, being arrested uh, by juvenile and police authorities. So we got to correct this problem. As for the ethnic makeup of the city, recent figures show 60% of the population in New Orleans is African American. But again, 96% of juvenile arrests are of young African Americans. And once again, police superintendent Michael Harrison rejects any notion of racial profiling. And Trevor, something else jumps out in these numbers, the ages of those arrested. Right, right. In the documents, 22 11 year olds were arrested last year, 16 12 year olds and 79 13 year olds. All of the documents that we used for this report are currently online at WDSU.com. All right. Thank you, Travers.